Hey, what's happening YouTube? I'm really excited to bring to you this playtest of two really great mouthpieces. This is my custom Sio signature mouthpiece as well as the Better Sax Burnin Alto mouthpiece. <laughs> Both these mouthpieces are definitely unique in the way that they operate and the way they sound, and you'll hear this in the playtest 100%. What I'm playing on these mouthpieces are excerpts from my book, 71 Extended Lines Over Common Tonalities. And I wrote this book as kind of a given away the store uh, vibe for my personal vocabulary. So everything I wrote in here is lines that I actually play on these particular chords. And my intention is to treat this as uh, sort of like a warm-up where you're, it's a sight reading warm-up and also just a, a ear training warm-up for if you're reading through certain tonalities or you get to a chord, let's say, when you're practicing a tune and you don't know what to play over that chord. Well, the way this is indexed, it has the table of contents. So look up that chord, whatever that one is that you're trying to get more things to play over and you can go to the first page of the lines for that chord and it has a theoretical explanation of how these chords are functioning and a way that you can you know use your imagination to think about these chords in a way that's going to be related to something that you already know this is a lot of my teaching philosophy and things like that all wrapped up into one place and you can get it for a very low cost. So let's check out some features of these mouthpieces. The Better Sax Burnin piece has a rollover baffle, uh, which from looking at it just uh, physically, it's, it's what uh, almost appears to be a high step baffle, but it rolls. So it is, as it says, it's a rollover baffle, um, which is higher than I'm used to playing. I typically do not like the step baffles or even a higher baffle, but this didn't bother me. And I think part of the reason why it doesn't is because it uniquely has a larger chamber with a rollover baffle. Usually those things aren't paired together, but I think Jody Jazz did a really good job of designing this specific piece um, using that large chamber with the baffle. Uh, it has straight sidewalls, which also is a little unique for that piece. It's handcrafted, uh, hard rubber mouthpiece with a matte finish to it. It's offered in a 5, 6, and 7 tip opening, and each tip opening is a little bit different because of the facing curve and the way it meets the tip. They were all designed uh, specifically to work with those tip openings, which I think is great that they went the extra mile when creating the mouthpiece uh, and actually changed some of the things so that it would work better with the tip opening rather than just slap a different size tip opening on the same mouthpiece. One other thing I think is worth mentioning is that it has uh, very thin tip rails on this mouthpiece, which usually, in my experience, has offered more of a precise sound. If you wanted to check out a video of Jay Metcalf playing this mouthpiece, he actually compares the five, six, and seven tip openings in a video on the link in the description below. So feel free to check that out if you're kind of curious as far as like what tip opening you would like the most. He pretty much lays it all out in that video.
about this mouthpiece. So you'll hear this in the playing examples, of course, but what I think is so great about playing this side by side with the better sax piece is that you can hear a very, very clear difference between the two. So this mouthpiece, instead of having a large chamber, it has a small chamber. Uh, it has a circular baffle, which is similar to the curved facing on the better sax, but it's definitely less of a steep curve. So that definitely affects the sound. Um, with this one, the thing I enjoy about this piece and continue to enjoy is that it can be very, very dynamic, I found. Um, what I also enjoy is that because it's a longer mouthpiece, uh, I feel like the intonation on this piece is very, very manageable. I can bring it up or down, whatever direction I need to go to, but in general, I find myself not being ever too sharp on this mouthpiece, which can happen on the alto sax frequently. So um, this one just helps me control my intonation very, very well. And I think it's just an all around very versatile piece. With this mouthpiece also, there is a coupon code SKSIOS where you can get a 5% discount on all purchases from the SIOS store. If you wanna check out this mouthpiece or any of the other signature models, you, you will get a discount if you use that code. recently started using this mouthpiece in a eight tip opening instead of a seven star tip opening, which uh, helped me to get my altissimo out just a little bit better on the piece and also uh, darkened up the sound a little bit. It also just works better with the Boston Sax Shop reads that I play on. Uh, in the link in the description below, you'll find a coupon code that gets you 10% off all Boston Sax Shop products. So that means you can get reeds there which i highly recommend the reeds are really great um, you can get mouthpieces you can get necks cases whatever you want to order from them that they have available you can order even if it's not available and use that code and save some serious cash at the checkout Each 10 lines are written out in all 12 keys. So whatever sounds you're gonna come across in pretty much any jazz standard, uh, this book will have it covered and it provides a pretty clear theoretical explanation of how that sound is working. So there's gonna be a coupon code LINES. If you spend over $30 in the store, uh, you'll get $10 off uh, any of the purchases that you make in the store. So please visit me at www.stevecortica.com and use that code LINES and you'll receive a discount. Um, again, discounts on the SIOS piece. There's discounts on the Boston Sax Shop Reads as well as discount on the 71 Extended Lines. Please hit that like and subscribe button and we hope to see you real soon.